It is the best-selling Ducati model ever. We have produced over 350,000 units since its presentation. It was also the inspiration for an entire category of bikes. The Sport Naked, today so popular and desirable. Young and contemporary, elegant and sophisticated. It offers a sporty but also extremely easy ride in every condition. It is therefore with great pleasure that I introduce to you the new Monster. Let's talk about its design. It's a monster, but it's contemporary. We wanted a modern monster, a reinterpretation of the original recipe without any nostalgia, but with the taste of today. The shape of the tank in the side view has the classic bison back profile. The headlight is high-tech, modern. The DRL, the daytime light, has a circular ring pattern. The internal part is technologically advanced, with an LED module positioned in the center. The turn indicators have a new style. They feature LEDs and are of sweeping type when turned on. A very convenient feature for the city is the automatic turn-off function. The bike recognizes when the curve is finished and automatically turns off the turn indicators. The recipe is the original 1993 recipe, a sporty engine but perfect for road use. Here we have the Testa Stretta, 11 degrees, twin cylinder, four valves, liquid cooled, desmodromic timing system, 111 horsepower. The second ingredient, as in 1993, is a superbike derived frame. Here we have the front frame, with the same concept as the Panigale V4. A very short aluminium frame directly fixed to the headstock and also very light, allowing us to reduce the dry weight to only 166 kilograms. The result of the recipe was, and still is, very simple. A light, compact, essential motorcycle. Everything you need to have fun every day. The goal of this bike is very clear, the fun you get from riding. To achieve this, we worked on lightness, compactness and essentiality, but also on the engine and chassis. The engine of the new Monster is the Testa Stretta 11 degree, here in the 937 cubic centimeter version. An engine with a higher displacement than the previous Monster, which was 821, but lighter. The weight saving is about 2.5 kilograms. The increase in displacement was used to increase the fun. We have two more horsepower, now it's 111. But much more important, we have a lot of torque at mid and low revolutions. To give an example, at 6,000 RPM, we have 20% more torque. These are the speeds that are used when riding the bike through the curves. Lots of torque means lots of fun. We then reduced the effort required to use the clutch control by 20%. Riding a motorcycle in the city is now more fun. More power, more torque, but lighter and with a softer clutch. The new Monster will also be available in a 35 kilowatt version, suitable for those who have an A2 license. An engine like this deserves high quality components. The handlebar is made of aluminium with variable section in order to combine lightness, resistance and aesthetic appeal. The fully Brembo braking system is that of a true sports bike. The front brake master cylinder is radial, as is the clutch master cylinder, which is therefore hydraulic. We have a double 320mm disc at the front with radial mount calipers and, very important, sinitered pads. This allows excellent performance both in sporty riding and on wet asphalt. The tyres are Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3, ensuring great grip during sporty riding both on dry and wet asphalt. The rear tyre has a large section, more precisely it is at 180.55. The Monster is a very sophisticated motorcycle with state-of-the-art technology. 
It is equipped with the best electronics package in the industry to increase safety, performance and fun. It has all the most advanced electronic controls like ABS and traction control, both cornering, that is to say, with activation modulated according to the lean angle. And, as in the top-of-the-range products, we find wheelie control and launch control to have fun in complete safety. And, of course, the standard up-and-down quick shifter for perfect gear changes without using the clutch. The Monster is equipped with three riding modes to modify both the engine performance and the setting levels of the various electronic controls – Sport, Touring and Urban. The instrument panel is of TFT type, which means it has a colour screen. Its layout is inspired by that of the Panigale V4, with a large rev counter with the gear indicator in the centre. Indications to keep an eye out for, at all times, for sporty riding. And for everyday use, you can equip your bike with the Ducati Multimedia System to connect your smartphone to your monster. The new Monster is easy in any situation. Let's start with the seat. In standard conditions, the height of the seat is 820 millimeters from the ground. This, combined with the narrow sides of the bike, makes it very easy for the rider to put their feet on the ground. A modified accessory seat is also available to reduce the height from the ground to 800 millimeters, while still maintaining a good padding. And if all this is not enough, a suspension spring kit is available to lower the whole vehicle, reducing the seat height to 775 millimeters from the ground. We have increased the steering angle, which is now 36 degrees, 7 degrees more than the Monster 821. This is very important for urban use, because it allows you to easily squeeze between cars, and even the most difficult maneuvers, such as a U-turn, are not a problem. The handlebar has been brought closer to the rider's torso by about 7 centimeters in order to have a more upright riding position, more comfort and more control. The position of the feet has also been changed. The legs are now less compressed. Lightness, compactness, essentiality. These were the objectives followed during the development by designers and technicians. The first and most important feature is lightness. Imagine 18 bottles of water and put them in a backpack, then go on a trip on your motorcycle. Well, with the new Monster, we got rid of this backpack. The Monster, in running order, weighs 18 kilograms less than the Monster 821. And the lightness is a key element to have a fast and easy to handle bike. In other words, a fun bike. But how did we do it? Each new component has been lightened. The frame is the component where we saved the most weight. I've already told you, it's a so-called front frame, like in the Panigale V4, a very short aluminium frame directly fixed to the headstock. The engine is therefore the stressed part of the chassis. The weight of this frame is only 3 kilograms, even 4.5 kilograms less than the Monster 821, a 60% saving. The seat support subframe is also very high-tech. It is made of GFRP, allowing us an optimization of shapes and surfaces and, above all, a great weight saving. In this case, the advantage over the Monster 821 trellis subframe is almost 2 kilograms. The engine also contributes to the overall lightening of the Monster, allowing a saving of almost 2.5 kilograms. As well as rims and swing arm, both contribute to a weight saving of almost 2 kilograms each. The bike is compact. This can be appreciated especially in the view from above, the so-called zenithal view. The sides are very narrow, and this is very important because it allows the rider to put their feet on the ground very easily when the bike is stationary. And this is an advantage due to the front frame which, being very short, ends at the height of the vertical head. The Monster has an essential design, both in terms of look, characterized by simple and clean lines, and from a technical point of view. There are no unnecessary components or frills. The Monster, in this case, follows the original recipe from 1993. We have only the components necessary for riding. The engine, a seat, the tank, the handlebar. Nothing more.
let's summarize the monster's main numbers. Maximum power of 111 horsepower, a torque of 9.5 kgm with a dry weight of only 166 kilograms. And the Desmo service, the interval to check the valve clearance, is every 30,000 kilometers. For those who want to have a monster with an even sportier appearance, we've created the plus version. In this case, the headlight fairing and seat cover are standard. Now the range is complete. Two versions, Monster and Monster Plus, both available in three colors. The sporty Ducati Red, the aggressive matte black, the most sophisticated aviator grey with fluorescent red rims. Many Ducati performance accessories are available to create your custom monster. An example is the Terminioni type approved carbon exhaust tailpipe, a guarantee for sportiness. Then we also have a lot of parts in billet aluminium or in carbon fiber. A further example is the painted lug, color matched to the bodywork under the engine. Many accessories to make your monster unique. The monster is the Ducati symbol of customization, even in terms of aesthetic. For this reason, we've created aftermarket adhesive kits. And for those who want to make more substantial changes, there will be kits of painted plastic parts available. Graphic patterns with a strong character that will surely not go unnoticed. But now, let's watch the new monster in action. Yeah. <laughs>